my name is Jamling Tenzing Norge. I'm the son of uh, late Tenzing Norge Sherpa who climbed Mount Everest with Sir Edmund Hillary in 1953. And there's a history between the Tenzing Norge family and the Lindblad families. Because when Lars Erik Lindblad started bringing tourism into Antarctica for the first time, my father joined him on many, many expeditions to Antarctica. One of the greatest things about Lindblad expeditions as National Geographic is what they call global perspective guest speakers, and I am one of them. A lot of the guests have just heard about Tenzing Norgay or they've heard about Mount Everest. So I'm here to represent the Himalayas and the people of the Himalayas. I enjoy giving them a perspective on my story with my father's life story because my father was one of the greatest pioneers and explorers of the world. My father, Tenzing Norgay, he was an extraordinary man. He outperformed every other Sherpa and every other mountaineer. And people said that he was a person who had three lungs. He was a very disciplined man. He was always smiling, very humble, very simple man. He took us on the mountains not for us to become mountaineers. He wanted us to become gentlemen, you know. He wanted us to learn the environment, learn respect, you know, respecting other people, respecting nature. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your insight and everything. You're welcome. Appreciate it. And a lot of the guests that I speak with, you know, most of them have not been to the Himalayas or even seen a glacier up close. And it's nice to share with them my story about the Sherpa culture, about the environment problems that we face back in the Himalayas, which is similar to what we face down here. It's great to be down here in Antarctica. For me, this is my first visit down here. It's a fantastic area, untouched by human beings and only leaving footprints behind. Well, when I look around here, I see mountains everywhere. From the sea to the peak, you don't see this anywhere else in the world. It's pretty big rise. I feel tempted to go and climb this thing. But it's so nice to be here. And I'm glad to be part of this organization that helps sustain the ecosystem, which is very important to our planet today. And I'm glad Lindblad and National Geographic are working together with many other organizations around the world to help preserve our pristine environment. I'd like to leave you with something my father always said. You know, he said, be a leader, be a guide. But above all, he said, be great, make others great. Thank you. <laughs>